Although there not only are there spoilers for the Mandalorian chapters one through thirteen, there are also spoilers for Star Wars Rebels in here, so please make sure to go watch both of all the Mandalorian. And I highly recommend you watch Rebels due to the way it is tying in with the Mandalorian right now. It is like a Clone Wars sequel. It's a really good show. It starts off kinda slow, but season two really picks it up. Season three is my personal favorite season. Season four is a really good wrap up to the series, and it's really tying in with Mandalorian, and there are major spoilers for both of the shows here. So yeah. Make sure to go watch that, and I'm gonna get straight into it. Hello there, everybody. It is iBoomer Productions here, back with part two of the Lego Star Wars The Mandalorian figure ideas. So, today we have five figures, and they're all pretty cool. And I'm gonna get straight into it. But if you do enjoy this, make sure to like and subscribe because it'll help me out a lot. Turning on those post notifications is going above and beyond. So, if you want to support me, just turn on my no post notifications, click on the videos when you see them, and watch till the end. Simple as that. Let's get into it. Starting off with our first figure, this is actually the this Ahsoka that we see in part, like in the chapter 13 of Mandalorian. So first off, she has the two white lightsabers. I lost one of them, unfortunately. I got this set back when I was like 10, 9 years old, so I don't know. I, I was, it was like a pretty long time ago. Well, I don't know, 2015-ish? Yeah, I was like 9, 10, yeah, 10 I think. So yeah, um... We have Ahsoka here. So, first off, this cloth here is the Cape Canteen. I just added that randomly. Um, this body here is, I think, from the, like, this Imperial Gunner guy. A ton of people have him. If you want to construct this, I just recommend just put a cloth or, like, a comma on her. And then you could use plain black legs, but I use, like, detail legs. I think that's for, like, the, um, uh, a knight, a knight of Ren or something, but black legs work too. Orange arms, her old head tails, like her smaller head tails, because in the movie, the little backstory, she actually, Rosario Donalds cannot perform the stunts with the really big headpiece. I guess it would have been cool if they CGI'd it on, but I think that would have been like really hard. But yeah, so they we just went with the smaller one. Lore wise, there's really no explanations, but yeah, I, I recommend the smaller one just to match what the show does. And yeah, for the face it is actually the new ahsoka face and make sure you use black gloves because she actually does have like gauntlets on her hands so yeah um next figure is actually grand admiral admiral Thrawn, and this is purely spe speculation as to how we're gonna see him but we actually did get confirmation that ahsoka is looking for grand admiral Thrawn. i did warn you there are spoilers so if you have not watched just go on before it gets any worse and yeah so of course i'm just gonna do these two together with Grand Admiral Thrawn came Ezra because he's the one who like kind of sacrificed himself and, and randomly flew, flew the ship in the unknown regions. So yeah, Ezra used like um, I don't know what face I use there, but it looks it makes him look a little or, or older, shaggier hair because I think he's gonna be twenty one years old, twenty two, maybe twenty three in his like twenties, early twenties, mid twenties by the time when we if we do see him in the show. But yeah, this is the Engineerio body and jetpack. He's also going to obviously have his green lightsaber, hopefully. And alongside that comes Thrawn. So Thrawn is a figure like it was already made. Maybe you could see him in his legends with like his gold pauldron. I guess he's not, he doesn't have like the full armor, but his gold pauldron. So yeah, uh, this is a bit big, of course. It's like a Chimo one. And hopefully printed legs and printed arms. I don't have printed arms, but yeah, that'd be pretty cool. And yeah, so moving on to our fourth figure we actually have moff gideon so i did a separate video on this one kind of reviewing him and comparing him to my own moff gideon uh yesterday so make sure you go check that out if you haven't already it's pretty cool and yeah so this is the firestar toys one beautiful printed arms it has pad printing i think this one is this is like the main villain really so i think this one's really important we need to see maybe we'll get a moff gideon's tie fighter i highly doubt it i doubt it because like it, he's probably going to be defeated by ahsoka this season, maybe not, because we, I don't even think we're going to be seeing Ahsoka. I think she's going to get her own spin-off series, because the Rebels thing is, has confirmed, the Rebels sequel has been confirmed to be, um, well, has been rumored to be complete, or whatever that is, like, it's, whatever it is, it's rumored to be complete, like that show, but yeah, I, they just don't know when to release it, so I think Moff Gideon might be defeated this season or next season, so I highly do we're going to see a TIE Fighter, because of the new 2021 sets so having a TIE Fighter. I had this whole theory that I made the day before the sets made got released that 
we actually might be getting an Outland TIE Fighter, which is the style of Moff Gideon TIE Fighter. But then Lego released the images and just kind of shot that down. But yeah, beautiful figure. I made a whole review on it yesterday, so you can check that out. And the last figure we have is, I forgot her name, but that evil lady from the new episode. Oh my god, I can't remember her name, but yeah, and she's like the villain from chapter 13 of The Mandalorian that Ahsoka asks, where's Grand Admiral Thrawn? That was a chilling moment, by the way. I was like, oh my god, this is getting so good. But okay, I'm not going to geek out of the, over The Mandalorian because I can make an hour-long video talking about how good the show is, how nicely it's tying everything together, and how it's like, uh, it's like one of my favorite Star Wars shows, but I'm not going to do that. But yeah, so I use basic, like, I think these are Darth Vader's legs. Master Splinter's body from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I, uh, I actually thought these this, it was a really cool thing while it lasted. I think the vehicles maybe weren't, like, the vehicles were creative. And I think they gave him a lot to work with, really. I think, unfortunately, like, it just, just didn't have the popularity. And the figures were really nice. But yeah, Master Splinter's body, black arms, black cape. And I think this is a Ant-Man and the Wasp. was like the Wasp's face. And just a ponytail tail piece I found on this random figure. Of course, she has a spear because that's the best bar spear she used. Um, I, don't know, I just thought it'd be cool. And yeah, I don't think we're gonna see her made, but it'd be cool if we do. Maybe in like Ahsoka versus um, whoever this person is, in like a set, like a small versus set, like we saw Kylo Ren versus that. That'd be really cool. That'd be a first Mandalorian set. Hopefully, should I use video coming soon on this? That'd be lit. And yeah, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'm out of here. Bye.